Hello guys, welcome to another video. My name is Script, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a no recovery script using Python, okay? I have already done tutorials like that before, um, but I had to delete them for other reasons. Um, but today I'm going to be back here making tutorials. Um, I'm just going to let you guys know that um, I'm only going to be posting the first and the second episode for free. And then the third, the fourth, and the fifth episodes are going to be um, paid, um, which means you can either pay for them or you can become a VIP and have access to them. To become a VIP, you go to my website and then you go to the member page and then VIP and then you become a VIP there. Um, and VIP is just $10 every month. You get access to a bunch of applications and you also get access to these videos. Okay, um, let's go. So I'm going to be posting a video every single um, <clears throat> Friday. Okay, um, this is the first video. All right. And let's go. So the first thing we're going to be doing here is we're going to be importing a few things. So first I'm going to import the keyboard module. I'm going to import the config parser module. I'm also going to import the, um, I'm also going to import front time. I'm going to import the sleep uh, function. I'm also going to be importing here the Win32 API and Win32 con. I don't need the Win32 con, this is just an API. Um, <clears throat> save this. Let's see. Okay, now let's do some functions real quick. I may need to import more things later. Oh yeah, we need um, we definitely need OS. Um, we need OS, and um, yeah, for now it's good. All right, so now let's make a few functions here and a few variables. So first, let's start with the functions. <coughs> Define, um, create configuration file. It does not have any parameters, and this function is literally just gonna create the configuration file. So first, we're gonna define what config is equal to, which is equal to config parser. Uh, config parser. There you go. And then here we can create a configuration file. So the first thing, the first technically a dictionary, the first um config we're gonna be creating, right? The first dictionary, the first how can I say the first um function in there in the um <coughs> txt document? It's gonna be the um recoil, okay? And then inside of it we're gonna have the following. We're gonna have <coughs> um recoil values is equal to, is it gonna be equal to a list okay uh, comma you're gonna also have the toggle key which is gonna be used to turn on the actual recoil I'm gonna have it as V for now and we're gonna have the exit key which is gonna be issue exit out of the script I'm gonna have an H for now um, for now that's all we need uh, let's see if we need something else here uh, so we have a toggle so we have an exit key oh yeah let's do um, just to make it fancier we're gonna also call a advanced thing here um <clears throat> and we're gonna be calling it um the first thing here we're gonna be doing random but it's gonna be a bool which is a boolean is that the true or false uh i'm gonna have it as false at first but people can change the tree if they want to um <clears throat> i'm also gonna be having here I think random bool and then what else we need? Um, I think that's actually it for now. Yeah, let's just have that for now. Uh, we can do more later on, but let's just leave it here for now. So we already created a configuration file here. We're going to be creating here. Um, we need more things into this function to actually make it work, but let's just leave it at that. So I don't forget. Now we need to load the values. So we're going to load value. It is going to come with a parameter. The first parameter is the actual so this is kind of like a dictionary. It's not kind of like, it's, it's pretty much a dictionary. Um, so basically, let's say this is a dictionary here, right? And then you're defining um, the thing and then what's inside of that, right? So like, if I want to retrieve this value, I'll have to pretty much do this config recoil. And then what do you want to retrieve from the recoil? I'll retrieve recoil values. And that would actually be equal to um, this list right here. So that's how you retrieve values. Um, <clears throat> and that's how you also modify values um, in a in a conf configuration in a config parser thing. Okay. Anyways, so load value. <clears throat> so then we need two parameters. I'm sorry, guys. <coughs> we need two parameters. So I'm gonna just call it. All right, parameter one, parameter two, and that's gonna be like for example, recoil is gonna be the first one, and recoil value is gonna be the second one. So we can retrieve this value right here. Okay. Cool. And how do you retrieve those values? Well, first you need to define the config parser thing. And then second, we need to read the actual file. 
and then we here is gonna be the actual file that we're gonna be reading, which I have not created yet. And then we're gonna be returning config equals one and two. That's literally what it is. That's the entire this entire function is just that. All right. <coughs> All right. So now that we have done that, now we're gonna actually create the configuration file. So first we're gonna have to have you um a try. Okay, just in case there's an error. With open, uh, we're gonna call the file uh, config .ini file, and we're gonna of course have to write to it, right? As config file. All right, and here we're gonna do config .write the config file, right? Which we defined pretty much this as that, right? So we're gonna write that, right? This whole thing in here, okay? Um, and then you're just gonna print something to the screen just so we know. Um, we're gonna do actually, no, well, let's do a better way of doing this. Let's do something, let's do a status over here. Let's call it a list, <clears throat> okay? And then status, it's just another way of doing it. Um, I don't think this is fancy whatsoever, I just think this is gonna work better. Status, and then here's what we're gonna do we're gonna do at this point, you're gonna do status equals um. Yeah, we're gonna do status two or well, status one actually there's no two in there equals config created okay so we're gonna be printing later on we're gonna i'm gonna be showing you guys what we're gonna do but basically we're gonna be printing the status for the user okay so that we know he knows what's going on and like if there's an error we're also gonna be using this it's gonna be very useful um and then we're just gonna return true or just return in general i don't think we need to return true but Except, except in case it's an error, uh, there could be several errors with this. Usually, it's an error involving like, uh, like you can't create it because you don't have permission or like something like that. You know, it's usually an error while writing it or something like that. Um, so if the file's already there, it's gonna definitely um overwrite it. Um, but I'm just gonna have an accept here. Uh, usually you have accept IO error like that. Which means iOS error. Um, okay, if there's an error, I'm gonna say status one equals um, error. You know what? Let me do this error exception as e, so we can use that. And then we're gonna do. Uh, let's see if I can actually do this here. There you go. So the whole status one thing, which is this one over here this specific position it's gonna be defined as the error and then what the error actually is which is here okay cool and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna exit out the program no we're gonna wait a little bit so that you can see the error so i'm gonna wait like two seconds or so and we're gonna exit out the program cool so that we have this function it's a very simple function over here what it does they basically creates a configuration file with this specific dictionary and these values into it and yeah and then here we open this this file, which means we are actually creating it if it's not um, created. And if there's a problem with that, we're gonna simply print um, the error into the screen. Cool. Very, very cool. And here we have another function that pretty much what it does, they loads value. Um, how we're gonna be using it is very simple. We're gonna, doing load, we're gonna be doing load value. Let's say I wanna retrieve recoil values. You're gonna put here recoil, all right? And you're gonna be putting here require values, and what's gonna be doing is gonna actually retrieve that. Um, let's test it out and see if it works. Uh, yep, let's test it out. Invalid syntax. So there's an invalid syntax. Yep, that's not how you do it. You actually supposed to do it like this. It's pretty much like a dictionary. So you're not supposed to use equal signs. Can't believe I made the mistake. Sorry. Um, yeah. And then, yep, config created. Uh, I forgot the quotes right there. You know, we have errors, fine. And then raise key error, right? So this happened because you was not able to create the actual um, value, right? Oh, actually, no, it's because I did not, I forgot to put the, re the read the, the document over here. So let me do that right now. Okay. If you have it in a different path, 
you gotta specify the entire path. I recommend just creating a variable, specifying the path, and then just use the variable the variable over and over again. <clears throat> there you go. You return, but nothing happens. So let's actually print the return. Let's print the return. There you go. So you return the value of recoil values. Let's say I want to retrieve the toggle key. I can just come over here. V. All right. So that's how we're going to be using it. Of course, we're not going to be printing to the screen. We're going to be setting this equal to something. So like if I want to um, save this as a toggle key, I can just come over here and set a global variable saying toggle key. And now toggle key is going to be equal to this function, which is going to lead to recoil as over here parameter one, toggle key is parameter two, and it's going to return the parameter one, which is recoil. It's going to go inside the recoil and then it's going to get the toggle key from inside the recoil. So that's how pretty much that works. Okay. Uh, and then if I want here, I can actually print toggle key. So you guys can see it works. There you go. So that's the first video for today. Very quick video, very simple video. Just teaching you guys how to um, do these two functions. You know, we're going to run into errors. It's very good. It's actually better. So this way we can fix the errors together. Um, if I'm going too fast, you can just stop me. You can just say, type in the comments like, hey, you're going too fast. Can you slow down a little bit? You know, um, I recommend that you guys learn about config parser. Okay, it's gonna, There's going to be a link in the description so you can learn about it. It's very simple. Uh, next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a little more, two more functions, I believe, or one more function. And we're going to be introducing keyboard into the function. And of course, we're already using the sleep um, function here. So you guys already know what sleep does. It pretty much just pauses the script real quick. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Um, let me know in the comments if I'm going too fast. Let me know if I'm going too slow. Um, you know, it's fine. We're going to run through some errors here, some coding errors in there. It's all good. Um, the, part, the important thing is that we are fixing the errors together, so you guys know how to fix them. Um, and next video, we're going to be talking about the keyboard module and more things, okay? Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.